and over the ball and ready to start play in this second and final regular season matchup between the two teams. Off we go. With Nashville and the Western Conference in 2022, these two teams said of that last game was being two days away from an Open Cup game. Here's a ball that Shios went after. Bunbury brings it down. Shios gets the block in twice. And then it's stuffed away by Pineda. Get it right twice. First of all, he's dropping here, but he loses Teal Bunbury in his blind spot. And, and he's brave, and you've got to be brave as a center back. If you're not brave as a center back, you can play, but not for this team. <laughs> not for Gary Smith. There's Gutierrez in the box, closed down by Dex McCurdy, and then a shot is lifted over. How good has Joe Willis been ever since he came from his time at D.C. United in Houston to Nashville? About 110 games played, 109 goals conceded, but he may be under pressure right now after the ball is given away. He just conceded one, a giveaway, turns him to a late arriving run, and finally, after a couple of opportunities tonight, Fabian Herbers has scored Chicago's in front. When you only have to go about 30, 40 yards, just a sloppy giveaway in the back line. And Fabian Herbers makes this pass out wide, continues his run, and just a simple finish. So difficult for Joe Willis to get on the end of that one or get in front of that one. Powerful finish from just about 10 yards out. The Chicago Fire take advantage of a sloppy mistake from Nashville. The versatility to be able to line up at different spots, certainly paying dividends in regard to Herbers. That's Navarro with the intercept and has a chance to keep going. Randall Leal, yellow card. And Lovitz will chase it down. Haile Selassie defending. Lovitz cuts in, right footed delivery, and it's headed in! But there's a foul. Wave it off. No goal, Jack Mayer's equalizer is chalked off at exactly 41 minutes into the game. Randall Leal. Right-footed delivery, should be an in-swinger towards Chris Brady. Oh, and McNaughton climbs the ladder, but heads it over the top. This year, Hani Mukhtar, 13 goals, 8 assists, number one in goals, number one in goal contributions. The hit maker, the record breaker, Hani Mukhtar is into the game for Nashville. McCarty, the Papa Pico, and he's got a lane to shoot, just a little sliver of space. He bent it around Jonathan Dean, but Chris Brady goes to ground to swallow up the ball. Chicago has got a five-man wall built and someone there in case it goes underneath. But it's curled and almost in, but Chris Brady manages to stop it. And then a ball pumped back in front is deflected. Toe to toe. Mukhtar, and put the hand here. He gets the trajectory right. He gets the finesse right, but just doesn't have the power to beat Chris Brady. He uses his feet well. You can see that gets the power. It's taken off the feet of Shakiri by Mukhtar. And Mukhtar hits the post. Now the follow up. Is it going to be Burberry? It's blocked. And then Hackinson a chance. And it's just a whisker wide of the far post. Hackinson just wide. Oh, my goodness. Mukhtar taking advantage of that space. It bounces off again. Maybe take a look back at that play because I thought. Move it quickly. Look to change the point of attack. Look to open up little passing channels of space. And then look to find Hani Mukhtar in that zip face and that gap between the back line and the midfield line of the fire. Shakiri driving at the back line. Gutierrez, good ball, looking for Kamara. And headed away. Now you've got a long distance attempt. Oh, my goodness, Mauricio Pineda clips the crossbar from way downtown. Looking at the Chicago counter here, service into Kai Kamara, well defended by Lovitz, but then how about that strike? Pings off the top of the crossbar, that one's not far away. Inject more this final five minutes into my veins right now. <laughs> it is well, I'm nearly end to end. Speechless. McNaughton. Drives a long, hopeful ball forward. Bunbury and Zubak were there. Neither could reach it. Chicago will clear it out. Kendall Burks drove it out of play. And before the throw-in happens, the final whistle is full. 